These are five of my favorite locations to build a base with the large room and the glass domes for beautiful views. So stick around, this is gonna be great. Hey guys, I'm Survival Joe, and in this list, I'm going to be showing you five locations. The first one being the Grassy Plateau, the de depth between 50 to 170 meters, and you will get a chance to build this beautiful, huge, large habitat that has been added on December 14th, 2022, by the developers Unknown Worlds. Look at this! So, this is actually a list in no particular order, so stick until the end till you see all of the locations that I find personally favorites. And this is actually one of the favorites, and this is the Grassy Plateau. It's between 50 and 170 meters, as I said. Uh, my, it is my favorite because it offers a large area where you can actually build with lot of potential interest to see. For example, I like to build above this Jelly Shroom Caves, so you get a beautiful view of these pillars, you get a view and a glimpse of the Jelly Shroom Cave entrance, which is also handy if you're playing a game in survival mode, so you can get a lot of higher tier materials there. And also, I like to build a lot with these glass windows, which you can because it's not too deep, so you don't need to put a lot of reinforcements there. Look at this. This is the big new room, the glass dome. It looks absolutely stunning and beautiful. And if you put in the big tank, it also looks amazing with some wildlife and stuff that you can put in there. Look at them go. Obviously, since I'm playing creative and I haven't, you know, completed the story, these are a little bit, you know, infected by craw, but it doesn't really matter. So if you look at this and you go upwards, look at this beautiful view from the forward observing dome. And I have parked my, you know, uh, Cyclops here as well. So if you come to the base you get this beautiful view of everything around the moon pool, the Cyclops and yeah this is and you can build around these pillars so this is what makes what this one of my favorite locations in Subnautica. Going to number two we're taking the mushroom forest. The mushroom forest is amazing because it offers a lot of you know tree canopy style look and feel to your base and you can build around them to actually walk between them and it really gives that authentic feeling. I have built my base here near the vents where the peepers come in and out and this is where I also place my moon pool. Now that places my big room just beside the big tree, not the biggest but the big tree and that offers some amazing views as you will see just in a second. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, the mushroom forest offers, look at this, great tree canopy, and if you come to the big room, you have plenty of place to build with this amazing thing to look above you. Yes. Uh, so, mushroom forest, really, one of my favorites. I would rank it probably my fourth favorite location, with the grassy plateau being probably the first or the second one roughly. So as I said, it's in no particular order, but if you give it a look, you certainly understand the ambiance of it. Uh, the update to Zero added this large room, which was originally from below Zero, and if we go to the place number three, we are talking the Sea Trader's Path, the depth between 170 and 360 meters. I've also located this as near the, I think it's called the Deep Reef. There you get this beautiful bulbs uh, of uh, light and uh, if you look at it like this, it's a small base but it gives you this, you know, nighttime feeling, a little bit of these pillars, these, um, these blue bulbs and in the distance, if you hear, you will hear the hum uh, of the sea traders as they come across the area stumbling and look at this if you ever if you build an observatory you will get a chance to fully appreciate the, their creatures these beautiful creatures in all of their glory yes so that actually makes the sea traders path i would say location my favorite location number three beautiful isn't it and imagine now if we go into the big room which will be close by and try to observe how does it look from, you know, looking above. So as you come in, you get a chance to see these tall creatures through your top canopy, and if you have side windows, then you will get amazing views as well. 
look at them go. Imagine waking up to them just going and quietly humming and thumping. It's really amazing. By the way, guys, uh, this video has been recorded on the New Year's Eve of the year uh, 2022 going to 2023. And I do recommend it's a winter sale. So if you haven't picked up Subnautica, it's one of my favorite games. Uh, Below Zero is good too, but it's now at 66% discount for a 10.19 euro. Don't miss it out. I will be posting link in the description below. This link is in no uh, no sort of form affiliate link. It's just direct link to Steam. So yeah, sadly, I'm not being supported here, but I really am supporting this game because this game is amazing. So check it out. And also, if you want to buy it together with the Below Zero, there is a Subnautica Deep Ocean bundle, which is normally going for 60 and now it's going for 21 euro. My uh, fourth location is the Lost River. There, in the skeleton of the big thing, if you go and approach it, it, it offers a really scenic approach. If Here I've only built this big room just to illustrate how cool it can look when you actually start going into this skeleton. And you have obviously the ghost leviathan as a backdrop and small baby leviathans as well. So, coming in, you will be greeted with this dramatic look and feel of the rib cage of what was it formerly a, like a leviathan dragon or sea dragon or something with these baby ghost leviathans going calmly and swimming all the way across you get this also this rustic feel and going to my number one actually which is now listed as fifth this is the giant tree cove where you get a chance to enjoy these beautiful ghost rays and there are absolutely no whatsoever threats here apart from the insane deep because this base is between 900 to 1000 meters below so you will need a lot of reinforcement to pull it off obviously I'm doing this in the creative mode so if you will be doing things like I'm doing your base will be probably sinking beneath the waves however the whole appeal of this area is amazing it's very serene it looks like you know the giant you know tree with these ghost rays calmly swimming it's it's one it's actually my number one location just a little bit ahead of the uh, of the grassy plateau one look at this imagine waking up to this giant oh they feel almost like manta rays in real life i really love them and each of my uh, each of my bases has to have a giant uh, giant uh, fish tank where i get a chance to enjoy and put some of my own tree creatures. The trick here is that you need to put this large uh, structure at the base of the tree because once you get in and you put in this beautiful roof, you get this tree with the ghost rays swimming calmly and serenely above. I haven't bothered a lot to actually set up like a real habitat here apart from this giant location, but I hope you like it and I will be seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching.